Hello, in today's video we're going to be talking about AX and E notation as well as valence bond theory. So let's think about valence bond theory first off. Valence bond theory is a way of thinking about a, a molecule, which is a three-dimensional object, and writing it out and thinking about it on a two-dimensional surface, like what we've been doing with the Lewis dot structures. We know that the, the electrons, since the electron groups, let's say a single bond, a triple bond, or a double bond, all three of those are just a single electron group, they would like to be as far away from another electron group as possible. And the reason for that is they're all negatively charged. And we know that negative, uh, if two things are both negatively charged, they repel each other. So when we're talking about valence bond theory, it allows us to move our electron groups as far away from each other as physically possible. This uses geometry in order to identify what a structure looks like in three-dimensional space. So that's what we're going to be doing a lot of, but I just wanted to, wanted to introduce you to what uh, valence bond theory is. It's just the, the thought process of moving the electron groups as far away from each other as possible. Now the AXE notation allows us to specify what type of molecule we're looking at. So at the beginning of the semester, we talked about AX or AZX notation, AXZ notation. Uh, that was how we denoted what the elements on the periodic table look like. How many protons, how many neutrons, how many electrons. Closer to what we're currently doing, a few weeks ago, we talked about how those same elements could be written with an electron configuration. And we learned how to do that for the periodic table. Now this is our uh, this is a way of denoting molecules, and it's called the AXE notation. Now the A is always just going to be written as an A. It's just a letter that we denote this. It, it tells us that we're looking at the AXE notation. So this is always just going to be written as an A. The X is going to be the number of electron groups surrounding the central atom. And on the exam, I will always specify which atom we're going to consider the central atom. So you don't have to worry about if there's multiple central atoms, I will tell you which one you should look at. But that's the number of, of electron groups surrounding the central atom. This includes a single bond. This includes a double bond. A double bond is still considered only one electron group. This includes a triple bond. Triple bonds are only considered one electron group. And this, it cons this uh, takes in, or, so that's all that this takes into account. All of the bonds that are present surrounding a central atom. Now the E is the number of lone pairs that are surrounding the central atom. So this tells us exactly how many bonds, how many electron groups are around the central atom, as well as how many lone pairs. And with that, we can identify what type of a system we're looking at. So let's look at methane, CH4. We have a central carbon. We're going to surround that by four different hydrogens. And this is something that we already know how to draw. Everything is happy here. Each hydrogen has two, va uh, two electrons. The carbon has a total of eight shared electrons. It's all happy and, and good to go. Now let's write out the AXE notation for this. The A is always just going to be written as an A. Now we go to the X. The X tells you the number of electron groups surrounding the central atom. All we have to do is count. One, two, three, four. There are four electron groups that are surrounding the central atom. So the next letter is an X, and we write a subscript. So unlike the electron configuration where our numbers are superscripts, in the AXE notation, the, the numbers are going to be subscripts. So we have an A, this, that just tells you we're talking about this, this system, the AXE notation. X, it tells you you have four bonding groups. And then we... Uh, have an E, but I'm going to write it very lightly because there is no, there are no lone pairs surrounding the central atom. So just like a lot of times in, the, in this chemistry course, I've told you, chemists really don't like to write things that are extra. Well this E sub zero doesn't need to be there because we don't have any lone pairs. So we don't write that. So the AXE notation for methane is just going to be AX4. Let's do another example. Let's do one that actually does have a lone pair in there. So now let's look at let's look at NH3. So we know that the structure is going to be the Lewis dot structure looks like this. 
So we can write out our AXE notation. We start out with an A, just like we do with every single uh, molecule in the AXE notation. We then follow that with an X, and we count the number of bonding electron groups. There's one, two, three. So we're going to put a sup uh, subscript three. And then we see that there's a lone pair on the central atom. So we, in this case, have to write an E sub one. So we have an AX3E1. Sometimes you'll just see this as AX3E. Just like a lot of cases in chemistry, we don't write that one sometimes, but, but I will generally write that one down there. So here we have NH3. This is the structure. This is the AXE notation. Now, once we know how to correctly identify the AXE notation, we can then ha we have a giant chart that tells us what the bond angles are going to be between each of these groups. So that's why we're, we're doing this. That's why we're learning this AXE notation. Let's go down even further. Let's talk about water, H2O. Its structure. And now you notice that unlike what I've been doing previously where I have the bonds straight out and, and make it it's kind of like a linear molecule, here the, the H's are bent. There's a reason for that. I'm going to start drawing these in more of a three-dimensional notation. So the AXE notation here is going to be A on A with an X. There are two bonding groups. There are two sets of lone pairs. So for water, the AXE notation is AX2E2. Now that's all I want to talk about with this type of information, the AXE notation, the valence bond theory. We'll be doing a lot of examples of this tomorrow, and we're going to be introducing the bond angles that go along with each of these different groups. So with that, I want to say have a great night. I will see you all tomorrow in class.